I don't know about you, but I can't remember the last time my phone wasn't by my side, and not because I was waiting for a call. My phone's like a wizard, full of magical apps. I can track my workout, drive somewhere new, open my garage, turn on my lights, and adjust my thermostat. All that power in the palm of my hands. Now my phone can perform a new trick using the Cisco Business Mobile app. This app can make setup and management of my network a simple task. Before I get started, it's important to note that the devices I use with the app are new or factory reset Cisco business switches and wireless access points. Other devices can run on the network, but they cannot be managed from the application. In future releases, new features, new Cisco business devices, and more configuration options will be added. That's what's great about apps. They're always being updated and improved. In this Tech Talk, I'll use the Cisco Business Mobile app to do the initial setup and configuration of Cisco Business switches and wireless access points. Next. I've downloaded the app on my phone and my devices are plugged into my network, so I'm ready to roll. I'll add a site and set up the configuration I want on my network devices. The application will discover my Cisco business devices and apply the configuration settings. To start, I'll open the Cisco business mobile app. The first thing that pops up is the option to create your first site, where I'll name my network and set a location. I'll click add site in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Next, I'll tap on get started. The app uses location services to determine my address. I need to enter a name for the site. I'll name my site Lab. When I scroll down, I can see my location. If the address is incorrect or I need to make changes, I could tap inside of here and edit as needed. I'll just go ahead and tap Next. The setup wizard is going to prompt me for site credentials. These are the credentials for the site, not for the application. I'll put in the username I want my devices to use and then enter a password. You may notice that the next button is not illuminated. It will stay that way until the password and password confirmation match. To show that, I'll add an extra character to my password. Once they don't match, the next button is dimmed until I remove that extra character. I'll select next and I'm brought to the summary screen. If I needed to make any changes, I could tap on edit and make changes as needed. Everything looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and tap on Add Site. The site has been added, so I'll click Done. Time for the exciting part, getting our gear set up. I'll move on to setting the site configuration by tapping Start Site Configuration. Then I'll tap Get Started. The first question is regarding wireless. Do I want the application to configure a wireless network? In this example, I have a CBW AP that's ready to be configured so I'll be doing the wireless setup. It should be noted that if I had an AP that either wasn't supported by the app, such as a WAP 581 or WAP 125, I could use those to connect into my network. I just can't configure or manage them from the app. If this is your situation, connect them to the Cisco business switch, select no, and continue the network configuration for the wired network. In this case, I have a Cisco Business AP, so I'll answer yes. The next question asks if I want to set up multiple networks. You can think of this as being like multiple VLANs, where traffic is separated into different groups. For example, you may not want guest network users to be able to access devices containing your sensitive information, such as banking or accounting. For this demonstration, I'm just going to say one is fine. I'm directed to the advanced settings page, which includes setting up a domain name system, DNS, network time protocol, NTP, and dynamic host configuration protocol, also known as DHCP. Optionally, I can do them on my own and manually configure them. But in this case, I'll select do it automatically. I'll tap continue. Since I only have one network, I'll enter the network ID as one. I'm going to enter the name lab and then select next. Moving right along, it's time for my wireless setup. On my screen, you will see a plus symbol. If I click on that, I could add another wireless network. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. 
Since I only want to run one wireless network, it's going to show type as employee. I'll enter my passphrase and then select next and next one more time. I'm presented with a summary of the settings that I've entered. If I needed to make a change, I could tap on edit and make changes to the network segment, which would be the wired network or the wireless. It all looks good. So I'll tap confirm site configuration and then done. I'll select add devices and then get started. This will get me connected to my network to configure my devices. Since I previously configured the app to do a wireless setup, it's going to want to connect to Cisco Business Setup. This is the current SSID, which is the default name of the network. I'll tap Join. It's now connected to the SSID. I'll tap Done. It's going to perform device discovery on that SSID. Here, it sees my access point, which is a 145 AC. I'll tap Add. It shows me a summary of the settings that would be applied. I'll confirm add device, and now it's going to configure that access point. This will take several minutes. Now that it's configured the access point, the mobile app wants to join the wireless network, Lab. I'll tap on Join. This may take a few minutes. Once the confirmation of deployment appears, I'll see the option to add other devices. This is a great option, but instead of choosing that, I want to show you a different way to deploy your devices. So I will select Done. This brings me to the main page for my site. From here, I will show you the other way to add devices. I'll select Add Devices, go to Get Started, and it will detect the Cisco business devices that are out there. Nice, I can see that it found three Cisco business switches on my network. I have a CBS 250, 220, and 350. I'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and then tap on add these three devices. It's gonna show me which devices are going to be added and then I'll click to add and deploy devices. It will start configuring those switches. Since these switches are either brand new or have been factory reset, they're ready for initial configuration. Once it is complete, I'll click done. Just like that, my network is up and running no magic spells required. From this point on, I can manage these Cisco business devices all from the app on my phone. Thanks for watching this Tech Talk. I'll see you next time.